through? 14. 14? Well, let's just read all the answers. 14, you should have 2.445, 16, 2.564, and 22 is 78.386, and 24 is 2550.3. Which one do you want to see? 18. So you got 5 to the negative 5 ninths. Again, this is all just can you type it in your calculator. The hard part with this is it really just depends on the calculator that you're using. With this one, it's fairly simple. 5 raised 2, make sure you throw that negative in there. 5 divided by 9. Like it just make it look the way it's supposed to look. If you don't have one with math print and you hit the same buttons and it goes 5 raised 2 and you go negative 5 divided by 9, the calculator is not going to give you the right answer because what's it going to actually do? 5 to the negative 5th, it's going to get that answer then divide the answer by 9. So what's the only thing I have to make sure I put in there? Parentheses around that. Right? And the nice thing about, especially these calculators, if you get one wrong, even if it's the next day, unless you've cleared out the RAM, if you press up, it's all still there. So you can go back up and see what you did wrong, how you typed it in wrong, you can even highlight what you want, press enter, bring that back down so you can go back and edit it. And it's a really nice feature of these calculators. So use that. You know, if you get one wrong on a test, that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab your calculator, start pressing up, find where you typed it in, and go, oh, that's where you went wrong right there. Are we good there? Anything else on those? Yes, 22. Yeah, same idea. Just make sure you use those parentheses in there. What kind of calculator do you have? Yeah, those are just parentheses, parentheses, parentheses. When you type in, it's going to have to be 4 raised to, make sure you have a set of parentheses that keeps everything in the exponents. When you press square root, it's going to open a set of parentheses. So what would be the next, after I hit 4, raise to, open parenthesis, square root 3, what's the next button? Close parenthesis to end that square root, plus square root 2, and then technically you would need two closed parentheses. So try that, you know, especially with the basic scientific calculators, these can be tricky, but the biggest thing is that's why I want you using your own calculator because each one of you are going to do it slightly differently depending on the model that's sitting in front of you. Get used to how you got to type it in. Did you get the right answer? 24 should be 78.38. All right, I want to show you guys 26. So this really begins the meat and potato of this whole chapter. What's the goal of this problem? Solve X, right? What's the weird thing about this? The, the variable, the X... It's up in the exponent. We don't have a way yet of getting a variable out of an exponent. That's tough. Now, there's, there's some nice things about these types of problems sometimes. Let me give you a different one. If I just said 5 to the 4th is equal to 5 to the x, what would you tell me the answer is? 4 5 to 4. Hmm. What does x equal? Four. Y. 
You're saying 5 to the fourth has to equal 5 to some power. If, this, if these bases are the same, what has to be true about those exponents? They also have to be the same, yes? Now, does that work here? Not yet, because the bases are not the same. Now, I want you to take away and not think the same type of methods that you've solved all your algebra equations in the past. What I mean is, let's say this problem we did for the bell ringer. 3x plus 5. Let's say that was equal 0, and you were going to solve that equation. What would be one of the first things you'd probably do? You'd, you'd probably add the 6, right? Because you're going to do things to both sides. You are not using that type of technique here. You're not going to take the square root of both sides. You're not going to do anything to both sides. You guys know the movie Raiders of the Lost Ark, like Indiana Jones, right? He goes into the tunnel. He goes through all the traps. He gets to the golden monkey, right? And how does he get that golden monkey? He swaps it out with something that he knows is equi equivalent to it. Now he screws it up, and that's why the giant boulder comes and chases him and stuff. But he basically is going to substitute and trick the machine to think it's still there, right? You're going to do kind of the same thing. I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to leave this 5 to the 4th alone. I don't like that 25. I'm going to, that's the golden monkey. I'm going to replace it with something that I know is equal to it. Now, I could do anything I want there. I could put 26 minus 1 there. That works. It doesn't help me, but I know that that's equal to that, right? Now, what else do I know 25 is equal to that would help me? 5 squared. Why does that immediately help me? Because now the bases are the same, right? So I'm taking out that bigger number, and I'm going to replace it with something that I know is equivalent to it. Now I have a rule. Do I know what to do with powers raised to powers? So I get 5 to the 4th is supposed to equal 5 to the 4x, because powers raised to powers. Do I need the 5s anymore? Now I just take the exponents. I know those have to be equal. So what's my answer? 1. Done. We're going to make those bases be the same. Sometimes you're going to just change one side. Sometimes... Let's do 35. Sometimes you have to change both. Yeah, no, I'm trying to hurry. What's another thing I could replace one half with? Could. That doesn't help me. How about two? Can you raise 2 to a power that would actually equal a half? What would put that 2 in the bottom? Negative 1. Two, if you see a fraction like that, just think negative exponents. This is nothing more than 2 to the 1. What's another way to write 16? Could be 4 squared, but does that help me? I need a 2. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 2 to the 4th would be 16. Now, when I do powers raised to powers, what do I have to do here? Tonight, try to finish through 40, okay? Just take it home, try to finish through 40. Evens, just evens, just keep going. <laughs>